Hey everybody, I'm Mama Baird and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying all the new things. I'm going to be making some lilac jelly out of some lilacs out of our front yard. I picked the darkest colored ones because I want a really nice purple hue to it. They smell delicious, they flared up all my allergies, it's gonna be great. Another thing I'm gonna be trying, I got some of Pomona's Universal Pectin. Now what's special about this is that it uses calcium, it comes with a little individual thing of calcium, to activate the gelling in the jelly and it doesn't require sugar. So you could actually have zero sugar in this if you want to. One thing about me is that I recently started taking on, taking care of my mother who has diabetes. She unfortunately lives in Missouri, I live in Montana. So I'm freeze drying her meals for her and sending them to her so she could have high quality homemade meals, but it doesn't have to be complicated for her and all she has to do is heat up water and then she has homemade cooking. But one thing that she is missing out on is jams and jellies because usually it takes so much sugar. I'm super excited to give Pomona a try because she deserves the sweeter things in life as well. So we're gonna make some homemade jams and jellies that are low sugar because whenever you want homemade jellies, you wanna taste the fruit, right? Or the flower. <laughs> you don't wanna taste all that sugar. So I'm excited to give this a try. Let's get in here and let's see how to make some lilac low sugar jelly. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Carolina and I live in Montana. I do a lot of food bank hauls, pantry cooking, and canning and preserving on my channel. If that's the kind of content you're into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. Come and join me in the kitchen. All right, let's get into this lilac jelly and see what we gotta do. So the first thing I did was pick all of these flowers out. The best time to pick lilacs for jelly is when they are nice and open, they are fragrant, make your house smell good. Now I just left the little green connecting thing on there. I don't think that's gonna be a big deal to seep, Oop, to steep that in there. So you wait till the flowers are open. There's all different color lilacs as well. This is like the darkest purple I could find and then there's a light purple and then there's a white one. So that would be fun to try several different colors to see how it turns out. And what I'm gonna do is I have this four quart, four quart? Four quart container. I'm gonna put hot water that was boiling and I have it turned off for about 10 minutes now. I'm gonna fill that up to the top and we're gonna let this steep for four to eight hours. Now it might turn the petals brown. I heard that happens. Oh, I didn't have enough water heated up. I already see the color changing. The flowers changed color too. Cause that's very hot water. All right, I'm just gonna mix that around. This is just cold water from my tap. That's fine. There we go. Now we are going to let this steep for four to six hours here in the corner. And then we'll give this new pectin a try. After your steep time is up, you're going to strain it. I suggest you use a cheesecloth. I did not have one. So I am just using my fine mesh strainer. You wanna make sure that you get as much of that juice or tea it's kind of like a tea if you can and this is what we're going to use to make our jelly so I just let this sit for a couple minutes to let it strain are right, you guys saw how I strained out my jelly I got roughly 12 cups there is one and a quarter cup extra in juice so I'm gonna pull that out so I have an even 12 cups to three times this recipe I've done lots of reading on their instructions and how to do this because it comes with calcium and it comes with pectin. So the calcium is what activates the pectin instead of sugar. So it took a little reading, but we figured it out with husband's help. He's pretty handy. So uh, this does not come in a reclosable container. So I'm gonna transfer this to a quart jar. I will have this linked below. I went ahead and bought the one pound package because I'm planning on doing lots. So if it's in about a quart jar, and then this calcium, I'm gonna put this in just a little four ounce jar here. Make sure I label this. There we go. All right, now, now that I have that done, right, I'm gonna follow the instructions that it came with just for the jelly. It says unsweetened bottle juice could be used. I'm gonna use our uh, syrup or our tea kind of that we made. And for every four cups of juice, we're gonna add a quarter cup of lemon juice. It has to be bottled. So I have bottled lemon juice here, three quarters of a cup, because I'm three timings this. You can add half a cup to one cup of honey per batch, or three quarters of a cup to two cups of sugar, depending on what you want. So for all three batches, I'm gonna add four cups of sugar. 
Now this is 12 cups of liquid. So normally that would have been 12 cups of sugar that I'm adding, but instead I'm adding four. So that's really great. I think since this is a floral one, I four cups of sugar should be good because I'm not getting any additional sugar from like fruit, you know? It's kind of my thought process on it. And then we're going to need four teaspoons of pectin. So a total of 12, because we're three timings this. And then we need 12 teaspoons of calcium water. Now to make the calcium water, to every half a cup of water, you're going to add half a teaspoon. So I have one cup of water here, so I'm gonna add a, add a whole teaspoon of the calcium powder. I had to have a husband to explain this to me because I thought I needed four teaspoons of the calcium and he's like, no, no, the calcium water that you have to make separate. I'm like, oh, good thing they have them around. All right, one teaspoon of calcium to one cup of water. Let's give this a shake. All right, let's give this a shake. This is our calcium water that we are going to add to our jelly. And any, if you have any of this left over, then you can keep this in the fridge for future jelly use. All right, that's shook up. Let's get this over there. Let's get this situated instructions. I have my jars in my water bath canner heating up and sterilizing. Okay, it looks like we add it all in. We're going to prepare the calcium water we have right here. We have our juice right here. We're gonna add it into the pan. Let's do that step by step. Step by step, day by day. I don't know the words, I'm just saying. All right, so I'm gonna take out roughly a cup and a quarter of this. Look at that pretty color. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so let's get our 12 cups of lilac syrup in here. Already check, we have the juice in, and then we're going to add the lemon juice, three quarters of a cup. Ooh, look, it changed its color. There we go, so it changed that to a pretty pink. You see that? Woo. That must be where the color comes in. All right, so, and then add proper amount of calcium. So we're going to add 12 teaspoons of calcium water. calcium water left so I didn't need to make a double batch but that's okay we got our 12 teaspoons of calcium water in there then measure sugar oh stir well so let's stir okay measure sugar at room temperature in a separate bowl thoroughly mix proper amount of pectin powder into honey or sugar okay so now oh this is hot now we're gonna add the pectin to our sugar, and we're adding 12 teaspoons of pectin. So I might need a different container if they want me to mix it. This is what I accidentally put the pectin in the first time, so I think that'll work. steak and mashed potatoes. I know I'm going to shake up the pectin and the sugar as per instructions. It says bring fruit to a full boil and then we're going to add the sweetener. Okay so let's get this to the stove. We got our pectin sugar powder ready to go once this boils. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on it to get it going. We have our water over here in our pressure canner. It's going. So I'm going to get a towel down on my counter and then get it the jars lined up ready to go. All right, this is all heated up. So I'm going to add our sugar pectin mixture and it's going to bring it up to a boil.
Looks like it's already gelling. You see that? Huh. It says keep stirring for one to two minutes. Whoa, not that hard. So I'm gonna wait for this to come to a rolling boil and then I'm gonna set a two minute timer. All the sugar is dissolved. So I'm just going to taste a little bit to see if I think that's enough sugar. And I do. Wow. That tastes great. Mmm. Oh boy. Alright, so we're just waiting for it to come back up to a boil. Should be any minute. You want it at a rolling boil where you can't stir away the bubbles, so it's not quite there yet. Well, husband decided it needed a little more sugar, so I'm going to put two more cups in, just whatever was left in my thing. It does suggest that if you try it and you feel like it needs more sugar to add more. So I tried it. I thought it tasted good, but it does, it does have a bit of a bitter at the end that husband pointed out. So I'm going to add just a couple more. So that's a total of six cups of sugar when normally it would need 12. So it's still half the sugar of a normal jelly. So that's a good thing about this pectin is that you can choose the sugar ratio. And probably with jellies that are made from actual fruit and not flowers you could get away with less sugar because the fr fruit has sugar in it I think that's better let me just go give some to husband and see what he thinks all right husband confirms that's better okay so whenever you're trying something new you know just give yourself the grace to figure it out don't be afraid of messing up. Start smaller and give it a go. Can't wait to try this with our fresh raspberries that come off our property. All right, let's bring that to a boil and then we're gonna start filling up our jars. We have the jelly in there we're going to give the rim a good wipe with vinegar to make sure we don't have any stickiness on there it's pretty color it's pretty color it's the lilac jelly and you're gonna put your lids on there All right, and then you're going to do fingertip tight on these. You don't want to go too tight or else your lids can buckle on you. What's buckle? Buckle means they bulge. And now we're going to load up our canner. You want them all spread out, not on top of each other, not touching. All right, so they are in there now. I'm gonna put this back on there and we're gonna let it boil for 10 minutes. everybody we are back it's been a couple of days since this has finished and although it gelled it didn't really get super thick now I don't know if that's normal or not um, but we're gonna crack one open we're gonna try it and then if we have to reprocess it we will oh, that's a good seal. instead of a knife I mean, it gelled, it's just kind of runny, you know what I'm saying? It's not like a thick jelly, but I don't know. Wow. It's kind of hard to explain, like you can taste, I guess kind of like a floral is what you would put it at. 
but it's um, sweet like honey because it's sugary, but it's not overpowering with sweet like the dandelion jelly I just made. You taste it, you're like, ooh, sugar. Oh yeah, there's some flour. You know, and here's like, ooh, flour. Ah, there's that. The after, this is, I guess, uh, the relief of sweetness from tasting floral, you know. That's really good. I do think I'm gonna try and get it a little thicker though. So let's open up all the jars that I canned and we're gonna put it back in the pot and we're gonna add some more pectin and we're going to redo it. If this happens to you and you make some loose jelly, I don't want you to be discouraged about it and I don't want you just to put it on the shelf. Feel like, well, that happened, now I'm never gonna use it or feel like you've messed up. It takes practice, especially with a new pectin that I'm trying, you know, it takes practice and it takes a while for you to learn not only how to do it, but how to use new ingredients. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fix this now while it's on my brain, cause I don't want this to go to waste. You could always use this as a syrup as well to like waffles, vanilla waffles, vanilla waffles, vanilla waffles with some lilac syrup. Oh, that does sound pretty good. But I'm gonna try and see if we can't make this a little thicker and let's troubleshoot this together. So let's get over to my pot and let's reopen all these jars. I mean, I was probably just a smidgen off. Whoa. Because some of this is pretty thick. But I just want it a little thicker. Some of it didn't look too, um, too bad. That's okay, we're gonna get this started. Now I'm just gonna wash all this and I'm gonna reuse every single bit of it. So I'm gonna take this over to the sink and wash everything real good and then we'll get it reset up. All right, this is coming back up to a boil. So I'm gonna add half of a teaspoon of pectin. Hopefully that'll be enough. It was pretty gelled. I probably could have got away with not redoing this, but I wanted that super thick jelly, so I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, so it's gonna take a minute for that to come up to a boil, and then we'll let that boil for one minute. And that should help re-thicken that. All right, we're gonna set a one minute timer, because this is at a rolling boil. Let that go for one minute. Let's get our jars back out here. All right, timer is off. So let's turn this off, let it cool down a bit. And now I'm gonna go through the same thing again, where I top off to a quarter of an inch, and then I'm going to do a vinegar wipe, and I'm gonna reuse the same jars that I used the first time on these ones. And we are going to do the whole thing all over again. Let's reprocess for 10 minutes when it comes up to a complete boil. And I'll let this cool down and then I'll bring you back. everybody so it has been a couple of days and unfortunately the lilac jelly did not set up again going back and looking over what I did I probably should have added more than half a teaspoon of pectin I think I forgot that I tripled it so I probably should have added at least two teaspoons and that would have helped it also lost some of its color so if you guys have used Panoma pectin and you are a lover of it will you please leave me some advice in the comments below i really love the idea of it and i want to use panomas to make the rest of my jellies but i want them to be thicker than this so if i could get any advice in the comments below i really appreciate it and you once again don't be discouraged if this happens to you just figure out how to fix it and i know that you guys can do it so i'm asking the audience what can i do to fix this jelly i bummed i lost the color too I probably could add some food coloring to it, but that's okay. It's still gonna taste delicious, and I bet this will make some delicious lemonade. Well, thank you for coming along as I experiment with not only a new type of jelly, but also a new type of pectin. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time on Mama Birds.